practice D. We need to simplify this expression and what we need to do is distribute and we need to use the advanced distributing method because that will be faster and this is a pretty long problem. And remember to advance distribute we need to multiply each of the terms in the first parentheses by each of the terms in the second parentheses. Let me put arrows up here just so we can keep track of what we're doing. We're going to multiply this first x by x squared in the second parentheses and then by 4x and then by 4 and then we're going to multiply the 3 by x squared 4x and 4 and add all those results and here's what we get. The next step is to multiply each of these. x times x squared is x cubed and then we get 4x squared here 4x, 3x squared, 12x and 12. And the last step is to combine any like terms and I like to underline the like terms that helps keep up with them. We've got a pair of x squared terms here and here and we have a pair of x terms. I'll put two lines underneath the x terms so we can tell them apart from the x squared terms. And so we can combine each of those by adding their coefficients. 4x squared plus 3x squared is going to be 7x squared. 4x plus 12x is 16x. Since all of the like terms have get, been combined, this expression is fully simplified. And then notice that I've got these in order of highest exponents to lowest exponents. This is a third power, a second power, this is just a first power, and this is only a plain number. And that's usually the way we list terms that uh, have powers, have exponents in them. The answer to practice D then is x to the third plus 7x to the second plus 16x plus 12.